when you finish university, we don't have anything. You don't have any money, and you don't have any like. Because in, in my university, we just had so many of these like machines and processes that we could like do. But then when you finish university, you literally have yourself like nothing. Try and use anything to make. We started the market like maybe the second week after we graduated. Yeah. I think so. It was quite immediate. Really. Yeah, we, we were always planning it over the summer holidays after. It was just, I just think it's really important and to carry we, on. Yeah, that we didn't away. stop. But I made sure I, I, I put hours into making for the stall because I think that's the way to do it. And then we started um, doing little bits of wholesale to shops, actually to the shop downstairs here. Yeah, that's how we knew the woman at Columbia Road. It was like it, we didn't, we weren't like right. We're going to get a shop on Columbia Road at all. Yeah. It was simply because um, a space got available. Yeah. yeah. Now we love it because we have the shop and the studio in the same location, and I think that's really nice for people to see we're making. And before all of that, we had um, like a bedroom, didn't we, in a house. That we made with things, like our studio, yeah, yeah. so we kind of built it. I enjoyed that making so much, so didn't matter that it was in my room, but it, I just knew in the end it just I can't be there forever. At any little bit of money we earned, we really did sort of plough it back in, and that's how Biddick was able to buy more of her equipment for making. We've never taken like business loans or any like big business grants or anything like that. We've always been like, we earn it. And then we've used what we can. So that's the way to to do it. And I think yeah. you, you need to put your hours in. You really have to work um, every hour you've got because just you can so you know what sells and what's strong in your ability. And, mm. Yeah, because sometimes you can make yeah like make things and it doesn't doesn't sell, does it? So yeah. you have to be prepared for those knockdowns and always get up. And that comes from you having a passion for what you're doing. Yeah, you, you have know? to be yeah. really passionate about it. And obviously because you'll be working to, to probably in the beginning that won't, if you, in the beginning you won't actually fund your living. Don't get too stuck on one idea, like maybe you have to make other things just to bring the money in sometimes. Or... Yeah. We believe in what we made, that we really like our work. We believe that we can succeed and I, I think that for individual is kind of the most important yeah, thing, I isn't think, it? Yeah, Because it's kind of like, if you don't, if you think, oh, I don't, like, I, oh, I don't know if I can do it, you're not going to do it. I always think it's a lot about belief. and so That's something we have quite strongly in common with both, like, if one's feeling a bit down, we're like, come on, get on with get it. Get for go. <laughs> <laughs> All the way through, we've sort of bounced off each other, like you said, and kind mm. of, come on, you need to make this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we yeah.